It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. This episode of the Fab Forms is brought to you by Northern Tool and Equipment. Northern Tool and Equipment is family owned and operated with over 120 stores across the country. It's a great place to gear up, providing services for hardworking pros and serious DIYers. Northern Tool and Equipment also provides expert parts and service, plus a repair team and all stores who can get your equipment tuned up and running right. Welcome back to the glorious episode of It's Friday Fool. You need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop or that I've featured on this channel. All right, so this week, I got a really, really good one for you. I'm super stoked about this. As you can tell, this is uh, sponsored by Northern Tool Equipment. A little background on that. So I knew I wanted to redo or build an entire air system for the shop from scratch. I didn't want to use what I had. I've been using it for the last little bit, but I wanted to do it from scratch, bigger compressor, better airlines, the whole nine. So the crazy thing is, is I've had a shopping list at Northern Tool for a while, just been kind of waiting to make the purchase. Uh, been using Northern Tool and equipment for a long time. Matter of fact, back in the day, they were my go-to source for a lot of my go-kart parts. If you've seen the mini chopper build and stuff like that, I used to buy all my stuff from them. So needless to say, when they hit me up and said, hey, do you have any products that you would be interested in reviewing or, or doing some videos on? I was like, yes, I do. And that brings me to the very first product I'm going to show you now. Going to do some more videos for Northern Tool and Equipment uh, in the future. Got a compressor from them that I'm really excited about. Took delivery of that thing the other day. I will go over that. Actually, I'm going to make several videos installing that thing. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I want to put it outside. I think I'm going to build like a compressor house, uh, a dryer, the whole nine yards. Uh, and then I'm going to outfit the entire shop with airlines, proper airlines. So that brings me to this week's tool. This week's tool is Max Line by Rapid Air. This stuff is legit. So where do I even start? So if you want to do a proper air system in your shop, this is the way to go. These come in complete kits. You can get a variety of different sizes, but you can also get each individual part too. So you can either add on to a kit or if you just want to kind of piece it together from scratch to begin with, you can do that. This stuff is the bomb. So. The kit that I'm going to go with is actually the three quarter. You can get it in a half inch and one inch and you can kind of see this is a tool that they send with it here. This tool is designed to basically bevel the edge of this thing. And so this is three quarter and you can see how much bigger that is than half inch. And then you can see how big the one inch is versus the three quarter. So you can pick between the three sizes. This tool will do them all. You know, like I said, this thing's just designed to bevel both the inner edge and the outer edge of the tubing. I guess a great place to start is the tubing itself. Why, why is this tubing different or better than anything else that you'd put together out there? I mean, you have guys that use PVC, which you don't want to do, it can crack and fail. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could use hard line. This is really the best way to go as far as safety goes and longevity. So this is, uh, basically has a aluminum, it's an aluminum tube wrapped with plastic and then it has an inner lining of plastic as well. Now I say plastic, I think on here it says HDPE. Uh, I'm sure that's some kind of scientific term for plastic. That's what I'm going to call it in this video. But yeah, so you got an inner layer of plastic, you got an outer layer of plastic and then in between that you have aluminum. This stuff is good to like uh, 200 PSI, I believe. 160 PSI at 140 degrees or 200 PSI at 73 degrees. So it's gonna withstand all those pressures. Um, it's gonna withstand the heat changes. It's not gonna get brittle like a uh, PVC would. And you'll see also, once I start showing you the pieces and parts that you can use to put this together, it's totally convertible, right? You can kind of take it loose, change some things, add a T, add a, you know, a port, you can add and subtract all kinds of stuff. The kit that I've got here is the 
100 foot kit. So it's 100 feet of line. And this stuff will bend. You know, you can bend it and at, once you bend it, it kind of stays where you bent it because of the aluminum inside of it. One thing I don't have yet that I did order was a straightener. So they make a straightener where you just, it's got multiple wheels on it. You kind of run the tubing through it and it straightens it out. Mainly gonna do that just so it looks nice and straight. You don't want, you know, wavy lines going through the shop. So let me show you all the, the fittings, the fittings that go with this thing that make it so convertible. Um, we'll go through them. And it's really what kind of sets this apart from any other system, which I don't even know if there is any of the systems out there that I've seen, but it's what sets you apart from, you know, just doing a hodgepodge air kit, you know, out of something else. Um, this is what makes it so convertible. And yeah, you won't have to cut the lines in order to, to change some things. You'll see what I'm talking about. Everything's O-ringed and it's really, really, really top notch stuff. So kit comes with a cutter and this cutter, I just cut a little piece off to demonstrate, but this cutter, even though it has aluminum, um, this cutter will cut right through it. It'll cut right through it without, you know, deforming the tubing itself, which is a good thing. So it comes with a cutter. It comes with these little, uh, I guess manifolds is what you would call these, and they're just made of aluminum. Really, really nice pieces. This is what you would mount to the wall and then run your air ports off of it or you know whatever you want to use. Configured, it's gonna look something like this. So they come with a drain a valve on each one. So this thing's hanging on the wall, you get a little bit of moisture in there. Occasionally you could kind of uh, purge that moisture out of the lines via this valve. And then it's got a port on the front side and it's got a port on the back side that you can use as well. Now I'll tell you why this port on the back side could be very useful here in just one second. So then it has their proprietary uh, fitting on the top. This is where the line comes into it. So this thing has some barbs on it and it has two O-ring washers on there as well. I hope you can kind of see that maybe. Yeah, see the two O-rings on there? So that's what it seals up to. So, you know, these pieces just go on this over these O-rings. I don't wanna push it on there because it's a pretty tight fit. You probably wanna lube this up a little bit, slide this thing on there. Well, that side that I beveled went right on. Then it's got this collar that goes on it. The collar itself is notched. Uh, that makes it to where you can actually get it off. So, you know, most like ferro collars, once you kind of tighten them on there, it squeezes and you can't get it off. These being notched like that allows you to get that bad boy off. And then the last piece is you just put this all back on there, you tighten it up, and she's ready to go. If you ever have any issues, you want to change something, move the height, you know, replace it, do whatever. Yeah, you just unscrew it, you can take it apart and do whatever you need to do. So this particular kit I've got comes with three of those. Three of those fittings for the for the manifolds, it comes with three different manifolds and three of the drain valves. It also comes with one fitting that is made for the compressor itself. Uh, what size is this? I don't know what the thread size is, but I think that's one inch. Whatever it is that screws on the compressor, I've got maybe a standard size for compressor. So this would be what would come out of your compressor and then everything else is sized for the line itself. This kit also comes with two T pieces. So you can kind of tee off with these bad boys. Um, you know, run your line, you can kind of drop a couple in wherever you want them. And yeah, comes with several extra O-rings and a bag of clips. So these clips, you just mount these clips to the wall wherever you want to kind of fasten this tubing. And then the tubing just snaps in there. It's gonna hold it exactly where you want it. Now, like I said, you can buy these pieces separately. You can actually buy them as like separate kits. So you could buy the manifold. I believe it comes with a plug, a valve, and maybe a fitting. So basically you get like that, that unit right there. I think it's around 30 bucks. So if you wanted to add one you can buy all of those together. 
One of the things that I, I'm going to add that's not necessarily part of their system is my own ball valves. So this is just one I had laying around, but I've ordered some more that go with these. And what I'll do is I'll actually mount these on the top and then put the fitting on top of that. And so I'll be able to turn off the air at the manifold for each station. Some of my stations we plugged in is stuff like um, the planisher. The planisher itself may have a leak or, or whatnot. And so other than it leaking all the air, I'll just turn the valve off right there on the wall. If I don't want to use it, I can turn it on, use the planisher, kick it back off. So that's the plan for this. Once I get into the build, I'll probably add a couple more pieces as you'll see, cause I'll make some videos on it. But uh, probably add a couple of 90s, maybe another T or two. Uh, I'll definitely have to order some more of these kits as I go. But yeah, so that's the kit that I've got. This, these kits are super rad. I really suggest you guys go check these out. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, or if you have heard about it and have been thinking about it, go take a look. The thing that's crazy too is these kits are very reasonably priced in my opinion for what you get what else oh let's talk about the port on the back of this thing that is plugged so they send you plugs for these but these are set up for being able to run tubing through a wall so for instance i could run a line in here drop it out on the front side of my building mount this to the wall i can have an airport inside drill a hole through the building, a little bit of tubing with an airport outside, and if I want to fill up tires or whatever outside, I don't even have to open the shop door. I can just drive up, hook a hose to it, and then fill it. I'm assuming that's what that's for. That's that's what I'm gonna use it for. I think that's it. I think that's, the, that's everything in a nutshell on these kits. Um, super rad, like I said, go check them out. I'll drop you a link in the description as I always do. Highly, highly suggest you consider going this route if you're gonna build an air system in your shop. The thing that's cool is this kit right here, if you have a small you know, two, three car garage and you wanna build a nice air system, this kit would have everything you need. Uh, like I said, I'll probably have to add a couple little pieces for this building, but yeah, this would get it done. Go check it out, Northern Tool Equipment. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool.